All right, Matt, hey, here we go. We've got lesson 3-2, the vertical line test. So we've got a graph over here with several points on it. So this is some kind of relation. What we want to do is we want to look at the graph and just plot the points there on the graph. So let's just start from the left to the right. So this point would be at negative 4, 3. So the input is negative 4, the output is 3. This next point here is at negative 2, negative 2. So the input x is negative 2, the output y is also negative 2. Got another point here at 1, 7. So the input is 1, and in this relation, the output ends up being 7. Uh, going farther down, I've got 8, 3. So input of 8, output of 3. And then I've got on my last point down here, that is 8, negative 8. Input 8, output negative 8. All right, so which two points tells us that this relation is not a function? Well, remember, in order to prove that it's not a function, that every, well, to prove it is a function, every input should have only one output. But here, we have an input of 8 with an output of 3, and an input of 8 with an output of negative 8. So that is not consistent, it's not predictable. Sometimes the input of 8 is giving us an answer of 3, and other times the same input is giving us a different output. So the two points 8, 3 and 8, 8, 8, negative 8, are causing this relationship not to be a function. Uh, the same input of 8 has two different outputs. Uh, hmm. All right, so, and remember a function in order to be, uh, for a relation to be a function, each input has to have its own unique output that's, well not unique, but it's just one output associated with it. And so this breaks that rule. We have the input of eight with two separate outputs, not good. So not a function because of those two points. All right, so when we have graphs, we can actually look at something called the vertical line test to decide if we're looking at a function or not. We'll notice that these two points that made it not a function, over here we had the point eight, three, and the point over here, 8, negative 8. The vertical line test says if a vertical line can be drawn on the graph and it passes through more than one point on the graph, then it fails the test and is not a function. So if you can draw a vertical line, and we can, here's a vertical line, this vertical line went through two separate points. Now remember, anything along this vertical line has an x value of eight. So it has an input value of eight. And what this indicates to me, at the input value of eight, we have two separate outputs. Over here, this vertical line only gives us one point, and that's okay. This vertical line, only gives us one point, and that's okay. This vertical line gives us one point, and that's okay. So all along here, I'm making vertical lines because vertical lines would be one specific input. For instance, anything along this vertical line has an x value of negative four. Anything wrong here? So this is negative four is zero, negative four one, negative four two, negative four three. So these all have inputs of negative four. These all have inputs of negative two. This one all has inputs of positive one. So anywhere along there has the same input. And so what we don't want to see is for an input to have two separate outputs. 
Because now when I plug in eight, I don't know if I'm gonna get three or if I'm gonna get negative eight. It's not consistent, it's not predictable, which means it's not a function. So that failed the vertical line test, therefore not a function. All right, so let's look at some of these graphs here. So remember, you only have to fail the vertical line test once. So you might look at this first one and go, well, I made a vertical line right here. And it only passed through once. Aha, it must be a function. Because when I plug in negative two, I'm only getting this point, which would be like negative, I don't know, 3.2. Well, that's true. Right at that line, it's passing the vertical line test. But if I brought the line over here, it is failing the vertical line test horribly. This input of four, this is where x equals four. So the input of four gives me an answer here, like 3.2-ish, an answer here, zero, and an answer here, negative 3.2-ish. So that one vertical line shows me that when x equals four, there are one, two, three different outputs that go with that. Remember, this is the point four, 3.2. This is the point four, zero. This is the point four, negative 3.2. Or is that negative 2.2? Oh, negative 2.2, whatever. So the input of four is giving us three distinct outputs. Definitely not a function, failing the vertical line test. So if you can draw any vertical line and it passes through more than once, not a function. So we're gonna say not a function. You only have to fail the test once and then you're not a function. Next one, I'll just use my ruler. Can I make a vertical line that passes through more than once? Nope, only passes through once. Can I make a vertical line here that passes through more than once? Nope, it's only passing through that point. Here, nope. Here, nope. Here, nope. Here, nope. Everywhere I go and try to make a vertical line, it only passes through once, which is what we want to see. That means this is a function. Every vertical line that I draw will only go through the points at most one time. It passes the vertical line test. Anytime I can draw a vertical line, we pass through just once, therefore we're passing the vertical line test. The test is you can't pass through more than once. If you pass through more than once, you are failing the test. Test passed. Every vertical line only passes through the graph once. Test failed. The vertical line passed through more than once. Let's see the next one. I think this one's going to pass. I can't draw vertical lines that pass through more than once. Yep, any vertical line that I'm making here, it's only passing through the graph one time. So that one's gonna look like a function. Only passing through once, passing through once, passing through once, passing through once. Anywhere that I make vertical lines, it's only passing through the function once, or the graph once, which makes it a function. This one passes the vertical line test. This one, hopefully you can see by now, this one is failing horribly. So I can actually make a line, there we go. Output, 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 output. I've got four outputs for that one input. The input would be like, I don't know, x equals negative 0.5. So for the input of negative 0.5, I've got four different outputs. So if I put negative 0.5 in for this graph, I get four different answers. That's not predictable. We have failed the vertical line test, and this is not a function. Next one. So this is a vertical line at negative one, vertical line at zero, Vertical line of positive one, two, three, four. All right, all those vertical lines, all of them only pass through that function once. It's passing the test. That's what we want to see. 
in order to be a function, when we draw vertical lines, they can only pass through the graph once. So that's a function. Last one, also a function. Anytime I make a vertical line, I can see that I'm only passing through the graph one time. So if I pass through only one time on the graph, we're looking at a function. At no point can I make a vertical line that passes through more than once. Okay, last part. Are all linear equations functions? So here we have a linear equation. Will every single linear function or linear equation, <laughs> Will every single linear equation be a function? Almost. There is one type of linear equation that is not a function. Can you think of it? It is no vertical lines are not functions. So if I did a graph here, let's say that I've got a graph, coordinate plane, and let's say I had a vertical line over here going perfectly up and down. So there's the line. That vertical line is not a function. Why? Because it's failing the vertical line test all over the place. If I put a vertical line on top of that vertical line, that fails the vertical line test a lot. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Math hard. See you later. Bye-bye.